Welcome to Zimmerman Podcast, Episode 69. Today, I'm sitting down with Audra Pace, owner and director of Dream Big Events in Omaha, Nebraska. Audra is a Zimmerman student who started taking some of my free courses before taking a deep dive into my signature course for the wedding industry, The Business Behind the Blooms. After years of trial and error, disappointing business conferences, and overloaded days, Audra found the business behind the blooms, devoured it in one night, and finally found the answers she was looking for. Today, Audra's sharing what her industry pain points have been, how her business has transformed since BBB, and insider secrets on what's inside the course. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Welcome to the Zimmerman Podcast with your host, CEO, wedding professional, educator, and mom, Jessica Zimmerman. In just two years, Jessica went from facing bankruptcy to taking home a six-figure salary. She turned a business-saving $100,000 loan into a million-dollar empire. As a creative entrepreneur, a healthy work-life balance seems just as unattainable as a six-figure income. But Jessica Zimmerman is here to show you it's possible. With the right tools and insider tips and some hard work, your craziest dreams can become your daily routine. If you set some boundaries and commit to healthy changes, you can create a business and a life you love. So let's make your business work for you. Welcome to the podcast, Audra. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited. I know. I'm excited to have you. I feel like I know you because I have seen your name in our Bloomer Facebook group. And even when we just got on to do this episode, I was like, have we talked before? Because I feel like I know you. And we just picked up like we really have known each other. So I know, I love right? That. Like old friends. <laughs> <laughs> like old friends. Tell us a little bit about you and your business. Well, um, so I'm from Nebraska, and when I originally started Dream Big Events, there was a lot of, I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm a bit of a dreamer myself, and so there was a lot of diving in and not really knowing what I was doing. I kind of figured it out along the way. So, you know, over the years, I've kind of honed my skills, and through different trainings and things that I've done, we've developed this company. And I'm, I'm really, really proud of, of the weddings that we do and the clientele that we work with because we range all over the place from weddings to birthday parties to galas and corporate events as well. That's really fun. I'm always curious to know, because I was young when I started my business, how, how old were you when you started all this? I was, oh God, I was probably in my early Uh twenties. I'm 37 now. And so I was in my early twenties. I had two babies at home Uh and it really was, it was kind of at that time when the economy was taking a real dive. My husband had kind of lost his job and was floundering and kind of trying to figure out what he wanted to do. And I knew I needed to do something. And it was, I had always enjoyed events. I had always loved being a part of that celebration with people. And so it was kind of a natural progression for me. Gotcha. How did you first become a Zimmerman student? So I want to say it might've been one of your images on Pinterest or something along those lines. A lot of my clients kept showing it to me and I'm like, who, where is this coming from? Who is designing this? I want to know more about it. And so in the entanglement that is the internet and however Facebook seems to know all of my deepest thoughts, um, (laughs) (laughs) one of something about you popped up and I was like, you know what? I want to learn more. And so I did a lot of like the the free little trainings or the um, education pieces that you would would put out, like your website or how to get you know your target client and really enjoy the process. And so I think that was how I first found you. And then I was immediately hooked. I've done other types of training from other people. And it always felt like there was something missing. Like there was that little bit of information that they purposefully left out because they want to keep you coming back for more. Right. And I felt like even with, you know, the, the free options that I was doing and those other training opportunities, I felt like I was really getting the real deal. Like nothing was left out. There was no secret ingredient that was missing. I really felt like I was getting, even though it was free, I want to say bang for my buck. I was getting so much out of it that I knew 
diving in deeper was the right choice. Right. Oh, that makes me so happy because I mean, you say they were free, but they're, you're also spending your time. You're investing your time. And I, I've always taken that really, really seriously because I value time more than anything else. And so anything that I'm going to spend time doing, or if I'm going to ask someone to give up an hour of their day to listen to me, like it better be good. It better be, you know, full of information that they can walk away, you know, uh, with something that they can implement and change. So that makes me happy that, that that came through. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me what you were feeling with your business before you went through the program business behind the blooms because you, you at some point purchased business behind the blooms, but what was business like before then? Business before felt like I was really just spinning my tires (laughs) and not getting anywhere. I was doing a lot of work, a lot of work. And I didn't feel, and I didn't even see, I can, I can honestly say both inside and outside, you know, the, the nuts and bolts of it, I wasn't getting anywhere. I wasn't doing anything. I was doing all of this work and I wasn't seeing any of the reward in the end. And with BBB, I was able to really take it step by step. And I went through some sections slower than others because I really wanted to get everything I possibly could out of that section. And I still refer back to it when I'm caught on something or something just doesn't quite feel right. I go back and refer back to BBB all of the time. I think I did it just last week, to be honest. If I have a certain question, for example, I loved that you shared even that just little tidbit about a time that you had a difficult client that you needed. This is how you handled it. And not only were you a representative of yourself, but you were also a representative of your business and everybody that works for you. You're not going to let that difficult situation take over you know, the way you run your business. And so for me, when I need to refer back to even just moments like that, where I'm like, okay, I'm having a difficult time with this type of a situation. And so how did Jessica do this? Like, how can I apply those, that same mentality of being a representative of myself, of my company, of the people who work for me and do it in the best way possible without sometimes letting what my husband likes to refer to as my feisty Irish temper (laughs) get in my way. Yes. Oh gosh. I remember because we update BBB every year. And I remember I originally wrote it in 2017. And I believe that this happened in 2018, what you're referring to. And it's the final module um, Mm -hmm. of BBB. And I remember when this incident happened because we had gone a couple years with just, I mean, pristine clients, like just amazing clients who just loved us, adored us, showered us with gifts, took us out to dinner. I mean, just like loved us. And so to have this client out of the blue, just kind of make false accusations and stuff and and really kind of treat Kelly, who's the glue that holds Zimmerman together, treat her kind of unkindly for a second. I was like, why is this happening? Like, this is out of the blue. What's going on? And I share the whole story in BBB. But I remember very quickly after I kind of had that, why is this happening moment? I thought, oh, because I'm supposed to handle it correctly and then share it in BBB because I have all these students who might go through a similar thing. And so I took that very seriously. And it honestly, by having that mentality in the back of my head, I think it really allowed me to handle that in the most professional way possible while still standing up for my team. And I I don't want to go into, this is something for, you know, students only to learn about, but, you know, I will just say that sometimes in the wedding industry, you have people who a few weeks before the wedding, and this was my only time that I really experienced this, but you can have great clients the whole way. And then all of a sudden it's a lot, there's a lot of emotion, you know, their baby girl or their baby boy is getting married and maybe they like who they're marrying and maybe they don't. And maybe, maybe, you know, the people who are paying for it are getting along and maybe they aren't. And maybe there's more drinking going on, or maybe, you know, you just never know. And you get close to these clients, especially as a wedding planner, when you're working with them every month. And, you know, we, we do this to the people we love the most, you know, we, sometimes take out our frustration on the people we love the most. And that was a moment where I was like, okay, this isn't allowed. Like we're not going to, we're not going to be the punching bag because we have done nothing but help you. And I think it was also a good example in making sure you always have 
that system of you have every email, you have that paper trail and you're able to prove, you know, everything correctly. Yes. No, I would agree a hundred percent. Okay. So what was working for you? Like before business behind the blooms, what was working for you? What wasn't working? What kind of feelings did you have towards your business? Cause I remember for me, like with my business, I just remember thinking, okay, I love you, but I hate you. Like I am chained to you and I don't want to be chained to you forever. I want a life outside of this business. But right now my whole life is my business. I had a lot of similar feelings, I think I would say. I I loved what I was doing. I I had this mentality that someday I was going to be able to retire my husband. He wasn't going to have to work anymore because I was going to be able to have this dream business that, you know, again, someday my kids would own and it would be this legacy that I would leave for them. But at the same time, these 2 and 3 a.m. nights when I was killing myself working on my website or killing myself coming up with these ideas of how I was going to filter in more clients tell and how I was going to get that attention that I needed to drive clients to my website or drive them to my contact form was just so draining, so extremely draining that I couldn't keep up at the momentum that I was going. I was burning out faster than I could find what I needed. And so after going through BBB and really seeing ways of streamlining my contact form or different processes that I can just streamline my day. I think one of my biggest time sucks was just between working on my website and my inbox. My email inbox was just overflowing with stuff. It wasn't even necessarily clients. It was just stuff. And so, you know, going through and really utilizing BBB to, to, streamline those processes allowed me to gain my time back for my family, my time back for me. My business hours changed and I now take Mondays off, not because I need it for my family, not because I need it to, you know, do the laundry. I need it for me and for my mental health. Yes. That is so good. I'm so, I love that it's taught you those things. That is so good. How did you know that it was time to dive in and purchase business behind the blooms? Like what was the tipping point? Because I know business behind the blooms is not the cheapest program on the market. I believe it's the most in depth and honest and raw and real, but and so I think you get the most out of it, but what made you think, okay, it's time to, it's time to purchase this because the other thing is I'm not like super well-known. You know what I mean? I'm not like one of the most well-known people in the wedding industry. And so what made you go, okay, I'm going to buy this from this person. And like, what was the tipping point? So I had gone to a couple of conferences in Las Vegas and in some other areas. And I had gone several times and I really wasn't getting anything out of them anymore. Other than maybe the open bar night that they would have. Like there, I wasn't getting anything out of them. It was a great time to go hang out with other colleagues, but I I wasn't getting anything out of them. And I had met some other much larger planners that, you know, had bigger companies than I would ever have. And I had tried their training and I had, you know, kind of dabbled, if you will, in this training or that training. And again, I would never stick with anything because I felt like there was always this missing ingredient or this missing tidbit or the magic sauce was always missing. And I wasn't getting, I was spending a fortune, but I wasn't getting anything out of it. And then, you know, after reading some other students' experiences and hearing from other people in some of the groups on your page and stuff, I was like, okay, let me find out a little bit more about this. And to be fully honest, I think it was almost an entire year before I bought BBB. And truth be told, I wanted to be able to take advantage of whatever free training you offered before I paid for something that I wasn't sure about. And really when I finally, you know, pulled the trigger, I was just at that point where I was like, something has to change. There has to be something I'm missing that is going to not only streamline, I know I've said that before, but that is just going to make this easier. Like this is, I've in some way, shape or form got to be making this 
a million times harder than it really needs to be. Yeah. And I think that we all come from that place of we go in our, to our business with the best of intentions. We don't go into it, you know, wanting to put more work on ourselves or wanting to work 16 hours a day or be away from our families. We genuinely want to have a business that, you know, has its systems and everything. But the thing is, unless someone tells you those systems or kind of gives you the answers to these questions, because I just remember constantly having questions like in my head going, do I do this or this? Do I price it this way or this way? Do I, I mean, am I making money? Am I not? Was this a good idea or is this, is it? I mean, constantly. And I think also for me, it was just such a relief once I knew the answers there was so much more headspace. I was able to think clearer. I was able to get things done so much faster. I was able to automate so much. Like it just was so helpful. When you first got into business behind the blooms, like opened it up and you're in the program, what about it captured your attention? So for me, I'm, I'm a bit of a skimmer. The first time I get a program like that or I'm doing something like that, I'll go through the entire thing and just kind of skim through and look at stuff. And there are definitely keywords that pop up. Images are always great, but I'm I'm very much a visual person. And so I'll skim through the entire thing. I read it from cover to cover, you know, section to section, beginning to end. And then I went back and broke it down into smaller sections that were easier for me to digest. And so what really jumped out to me was just the way it was broken down into very digestible, easy modules made it so, I don't know, it just, it felt like I was able to really dive in without it being, I mean, when you first start it, it's not information overload. I didn't feel like that. I was able to break it down and really get what I needed out of every part of it. And so when I read through the whole thing cover to cover, for me, what really popped out was just the way that it was broken down. Yeah. It's not overwhelming. There's so much information in it and so many answers. I mean, it really is the foundation that any wedding industry, you know, business needs, but it's not overwhelming. And that's what I really love about it. I I mean, business behind the blooms is my business baby. I mean, I love it so much. I don't know if I've ever put more heart and soul into anything. And people always say like experts and, you know, stuff that are in like the education world, which by the way, I do everything completely against <laughs> those experts recommendations um, because they just don't feel right to me. But they say, don't tell people that your students read the whole thing like in one sitting. And I actually think that that's really cool because I think that that just proves that it's, you know, a good read. It's entertaining. And I think the reason why people consume it quickly or stay up all night to finish it is because they are finally getting the answers. And so you read it and you just want to like, digest, like, like you can't, you're like, well, what's the next answer I'm going to learn? And what's the next answer I'm going to learn? And so you read the whole thing. And then, like you said, and by the way, I've never heard of anyone doing this any other way. They read the whole thing because they can't help themselves because right. they just want to know all the answers. And then they go back to the beginning and oh, they go, absolutely. Okay, now I'm going to start implementing it. I think it's the best way to do it, honestly. Like after when you're talking, you know, you were talking about the experts and and how they tell you to do it. I've gone to workshops by quote unquote experts. I have gone and seen and, you know, like I said, I've, I've been to these conferences. I still, there's so much information overload reading some of these people's things and listening to some of them talk that I, I'm missing out on probably 50% of whatever it is they're trying to teach me. And so with BBB, I mean, I think it took me to actually go through the entire thing. I read it cover to cover the first day I had it. And then to really go through and digest it the way I wanted to, I think it took me a week and a half my entire workday, that is what I did. I took an hour to do my inbox and I took an hour to eat lunch and then I was back at it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It's, it's very doable. It's very doable and it's, it's not overwhelming. And I love that. Running a floral business isn't always as pretty as the flowers themselves. 
I spent more than $100,000 educating myself and figuring out how to make this business work for me and fully support my family of five. If you're wanting to know how to not only run a profitable business, but also hear all my firsthand experiences of navigating how to deal with difficult brides, make automated systems, create proposals, set boundaries in your work, and book every bride you want, you need to check out Business Behind the Blooms. Go to ZimmermanPodcast.com slash BBB to get more information. That's ZimmermanPodcast.com slash BBB. As you know, there's literally nothing that I hold back in BBB. I mean, we you've mentioned a couple of times going to conferences or workshops and feeling like there was a secret ingredient missing or feeling like you were getting, you know, maybe 60%, but then where's that other 40% that you paid for, you know, but did you feel like you got everything from business behind the blooms? Absolutely. I really feel like everything that I needed as a business owner and as a wedding industry professional, everything I needed to know to make my business better and to be at that next level, I got out of business behind the blooms. Good. Good. Was it helpful to hear stories about, you know, like times that I screwed up and what I did to fix those mistakes and kind of those like darker, embarrassing moments? <laughs> no, it it really was because then I knew I wasn't alone. I wasn't the only person messing up. I wasn't the only person dealing with a difficult client. I wasn't the only person that, you know, probably could have done a much better job on my website four editions ago. I think as a wedding professional, everything is so closely guarded, right? And now it's a lot different. There's a lot of, you know, talk about community over competition and those kinds of things, but everything is so guarded because you feel like somebody is going to, you know, take your niche away from you or is going to undercut your pricing or something like that. And I felt like with BBB and knowing that, I mean, here's somebody that I've come to really admire is making the same mistakes and is doing those same embarrassing things. I'm like, okay, I am human. It's, it's okay. Right. Definitely. I spoke with a, with a bloomer. That's what we call the BBB students, but I spoke with a bloomer yesterday who said, she goes, you know, I don't have any friends in the wedding industry. I don't talk to people like locally in the industry. I don't have any entrepreneur friends. She goes, so I really didn't talk to anyone. Um, I didn't know anyone that I could talk to. And she said when she read BBB, it was the first time that she was like, oh my gosh, I'm not, like you said, I'm not alone in this. I think a lot of people now, you know, they know they're not alone. They know a lot of people struggle with it. But I also think that there are people who have no clue, like they, they just are like, no, this is just me and I'm messing up and I've got, and it's like, no, 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 no. For sure. And I mean- I have, you know, several colleagues that are in the business and other, you know, I think there's a group of like 12 wedding planners in our area that we actually meet once a month just to talk about all the ways we've made mistakes <laughs> so that we're, we know that we're not alone, but we're also there to give each other advice. I know when I'm struggling with something, you know, locally where I'm like, okay, I can't be the only person doing it this way. Mm -hmm. I'll reach out to some of those people and I'm like, okay how do you do this? Because apparently I'm just not getting it, you know? Yeah. And so I've been very, very fortunate in that. I even, I know a lot of wedding planners, wedding industry professionals that have taken BBB, florists who have taken BBB. There was actually a gal here in Nebraska who, uh, she also took it around the same time I did. And so it was kind of nice to just get, okay, what section did you, you know, love the most or be able to have that, that relationship and that little bit of banter to go back and forth and be like, oh, so, so that's what, you know, those types of things where I was definitely active in the bloomers, uh, social media pages as well. But then to also have somebody locally where I was like, okay, we're kind of jiving with this. And we, we would get really, really excited about new things that would come out or about something that was commented or something like that. So that, I mean, that for me was kind of nice too. That's wonderful. Yeah. Did you have a favorite or a most helpful part of BBB? I would say my most helpful part was going through sections on the website 
and just really figuring out the best way to streamline things. And even the processes and the emails that the way you would structure an email yes, made it so much easier to streamline. And I mean, when I- Hours and days and weeks. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yes. Just the way an email was worded that I was like, okay, this is going to be so much easier than having to- sit here and re-explain and re-explain again or ask these questions four or five times because I'm still not getting the right answer. And it's been so much easier. It's a little more hands-off, if that makes any sense. Even with just our contact form has made it a lot simpler to say, oh, nope, we're not available for that because maybe it doesn't hit our minimum. Or nope, we're not available for that because maybe it's just not a style that fits our brand. So I think I think those were some of the parts that were really the most helpful for me. Yeah. Oh, good. Let's talk a second about the Bloomer Facebook group. What I love about it is, so when you purchase Business Behind the Blooms, you get lifetime access to Business Behind the Blooms, and we update it every year, so you'll get the updated version, but you also get in the Bloomer Facebook group, and I know, I hear this all the time, like, what, another Facebook group. Let me just say, for the record, that I get on Facebook to post on my business page and to go to the Bloomer Facebook group. Like that is it. Those are the only two places I go. I don't hang out on the wall or whatever you talk about. Like I don't scroll through it because it's just not that positive. But I love the Bloomer Facebook group because while I know the business part of BBB, these bloomers, they know logistics, they know mechanics, they know the names of the flowers. And so while people come to BBB, like you were talking about earlier, like a business manual, and they refer to it when they have business questions, they go in that Bloomer Facebook group to ask, hey, this is the aisle marker I'm making. And what's the best mechanics to make this and in the least expensive way possible? Or, you know, and all these bloomers are getting in there and giving her, you know, tips. And then someone saying, Hey, I have a bride who wants a bouquet that looks like this, but I don't know the names of these flowers. I mean, within seconds, there's someone naming the exact names of the flowers. And so I love that. I love that we are able to continually help one another on both sides of the kind of fence. Oh, for sure. I I can't tell you how many times I will go to the Bloomers Facebook page and just post when I'm struggling or even when I'm not struggling just to help boost somebody else up who might need it that day. A hundred percent worth all of the time I spend there. Like when I'm struggling, whether it's with a client or with a design that I'm working on, I'm like, okay, how can I make this? Like you were saying before, how can I make this in the best way possible for the least amount of money? Or what is the mechanics of making this amazing piece that to me just seems to be floating on air? Right. You know, it's, it's such a fantastic resource to be able to have that along with the education. So just be able, because here's the thing, if you just like Google something like that, it, you, it doesn't, it doesn't work. You don't get the answers. But when you have a Facebook group filled with people in the wedding industry that genuinely care and want to help, and you send a picture and you ask a question, you you get all of this wonderful feedback. It's like, it's like Google for the wedding industry. I don't know. It's so helpful. And I just, I, there's so many times that I look at that and go, I'm really proud that we created that because there are so many times in my wedding business history where I had no clue how to do the mechanics and man, did I mess up on things or whatever. And I think if I had had this, how much easier it would have been, how much better, how much money I could have saved or whatever. So I do, I do love that group. I'm proud of it. If you want to build a great business or live a good life, you've got to plan for it. Every year, I take a whole month to reevaluate the past 12 months and figure out what worked, what didn't, and how I can create a life I love for the following year. I teach you my exact planning process in my program, Know Your Numbers, annual planning for your best year. If you want a free training to get some tips on planning your best year yet, go to ZimmermanPodcast.com slash Know Your Numbers. That's ZimmermanPodcast.com slash Know Your Numbers. What 
does your business look like today? Like, how is your business different now that you have gone through business behind the blooms? So for me, what has been the biggest change is just the type of client. I would say the quality of client that we are seeing come in, knowing that not every client has to be our client. I'll be honest, it was real hard to say no really, really hard to say no. And I know that was one of the things that you had covered, um, not only in BBB, but in a couple of other of your trainings. Not every client is going to be your client and saying no to some of those, I don't know, maybe it's like they don't hit your minimum. You know, they're right there, but if they would just, you know, be willing to come up a little bit more or be willing to see the bigger picture, then it would be okay to say no to that client and open the door to these other possibilities or these other clients that come into you and don't bat an eye because they understand the cost and the value of what you're providing to them has been a huge game changer for us. And just knowing a better structure, seeing a better structure and knowing that that is going to really change the way that our clients work with us was a game changer. I mean, we have seen this year alone, I want to say last year, our goal is usually about two to three wedding clients a month in order to really hit our, really hit my numbers. This year, by just making those little bit of changes, we were able to not only set a huge goal. I said before, I'm kind of a dreamer. I I may set some numbers that are a little, little unrealistic, but being able to have that goal and even with things that happen out of your control, still be able to come extremely close to that goal and know that not hitting those numbers dead on is okay. Still making a profit and walking away from this year proud of what we were able to accomplish is huge. Mm, Yeah. Oh, that makes me so happy. That makes me so happy. What is your personal life looking like today? Like how is it different after you went through BBB? My mental capacity is a lot better. (laughs) I just, so we have two young kids. Our son is 12 and our daughter is 10 and they're involved in what feels like everything. There are some days I would pick them up from school and I wouldn't actually get out of my car until nine o'clock at night after running them to and from everything. And so personally, it's allowed me to be there for all of those moments and really put a timeline on my day. There have been days pre-BBB that I was working from eight o'clock in the morning until two or three o'clock the next morning because I just felt like everything had to get done and I was the only one who would do it. And it was just constantly work, work, work. And I was missing out. I was missing out on so many things after BBB and just really being able to structure things in such a way and to run my business the way that I want it to run as opposed to my business running me. I mean, it's just, it's changed so much. I can't thank you enough because I'm able to go to my kids' things and not also have to be standing in a hallway on the phone with a client. Like I can put my phone down and walk away. That makes me happier than anything you've said this whole time, because I believe that we weren't meant to be chained to our businesses and we were meant to live this beautiful life outside of our business with the people we love most. And uh, my mission behind business behind the blooms is that it gets people in the wedding industry, that it gets their business in order to where they are not chained to it and they can go live their life with their loved ones. So, oh, that makes me so happy. Do you feel more freedom to price your work fairly and find the right clients who follow your lead instead of trying to run the conversation? Yes, for sure. Before, the way I was running my pricing was so, was in such a way that it was just, it it almost spoke to desperation, I would say. Like I was just desperate to get the business. Where now, as opposed to setting my pricing and being confident about what I'm offering and the services that I am providing and knowing that my time and my services are worth what I'm asking for. Mm-hmm. You know, because you, know you feel confident in it, you know, right. You know, yeah. Right. Being able to have that confidence in saying, this is what my time is worth. You know, I have a reputation in the business for, I've been in it for a long time now. 
I know that my time is worth this. Do you think, I, t- I spoke with a couple of um, students recently who said their businesses would not have survived COVID-19 if they had not gone through Business Behind the Blooms. How has Business Behind the Blooms changed your attitude and the tools you have to deal you know, with COVID-19 when a lot of weddings have been postponed? Pre- I don't think anybody was prepared for Nobody's contract, nobody's business was prepared for what COVID-19 has done. But having gone through BBB and knowing that the way we structure our pricing and the way that we even structure our payments from our clients, deposits, their payment plans, those kinds of things, really allowed me to continue working through COVID. You know, I've, I've heard from a lot of people that once COVID hit and their business is shut down, I mean, they've just kind of been sitting stagnant with, you know, they're not sure if they're still going to be able to make their sales goals. They're not sure if they're still going to be able to pay their mortgages. They have no idea. There's so much uncertainty. And having gone through BBB, I was confident in knowing I was still getting paid every month. You know, I didn't have that worry that, oh my gosh, I'm just not going to, what am I going to do? And I think knowing that COVID kind of put a hiccup in everything, seeing how we've been able to really roll with the punches has been awesome. That's great. Oh, that's so good. If you knew someone who was on the fence about getting BBB, what would you tell them? Because you said even yourself, like you, it took you a year to kind of pull the trigger. What would you, what would you say to someone who's on the fence? Do it. Just do it. There is no way you will regret this in any way, shape, or form. It has transformed not only my business, but the way I see myself in my business and the way I do business. I think a lot of people, their biggest concern is going to be the money because it's not a cheap program. Um, You feel like it paid for itself rather quickly? Hand over foot. I would say what I was able to do because of BBB, I recouped that money, I'd say within two months. Like it was, it was quick. Just the transformations I was able to make, even while I was doing the courses, because I would have not only the course pulled up, I would also have other screens pulled up on my computer where I was like, okay, this is what she says. Okay. This is how Jessica does it. This is how I need to change my process. And so I would go into my next screen. I'd be like, okay, let's make this edit here. Let's, you know, change this there. Let's maybe update this wording. So it's a little smoother there. And then I'd go back to BBB and I'd be like, okay, next section. What is it I need to change? I'd look at my notes from when I went through it the first time and say, okay, this process is not working. How can we change this? This is what Jessica did. This is what I'm doing now. What's going to make it better? And so I'd, you know, I'd, I'd go in and I'd make those changes and I would make more notes. And so for me, I mean, like I said, BBB paid for itself almost immediately. Mm, Yeah. So good. That makes me so happy. Okay. So here's the final question. Ask everyone this question. If you had Oprah's money and you had to buy something totally selfish, and that's the key here, totally selfish, what would you spend it on? I have thought a lot about this question because I've listened to your podcast and I would actually buy a huge acreage, something that I've really gotten into. I dabbled way back when my babies were babies and I used to garden a little bit and with, you know, being home so much right now, I've gardened a lot. I would have a huge acreage and I would just beautiful home gardens as far as the eye can see. Oh, so good. That's so that's good. kind of my happy place. Yeah. Oh, I love it. That's so good. Audra, I could talk to you all day. I mean, I feel like I feel like you're just like a like an old friend. I feel very comfortable chatting with you. It's so good. It's been awesome, Jessica. This has been amazing. Thank you for being on the podcast and sharing your experience with Business Behind the Blooms. And I just wish you nothing but just the most success. So thank Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Audra, thank you so much for sharing on Zimmerman Podcast. If you loved what you heard today, go visit ZimmermanPodcast.com slash BBB. 
to get more information on the course, including the same types of free trainings Audra discovered before buying BBB. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Zimmerman Podcast. I'll see you back here next week for more free training and encouragement for business and life. If you loved what you heard today, even if you liked it a lot, you should subscribe and leave a review. We'll see you back here next time in the Zimmerman Podcast.